all right guys so today's video is about how to pair smart bracelet with iphone without wasting much of a time let's get down to business so the first thing is to unbox this guy here in nigeria it costs just five dollar depending on where you are getting it and once you unbox it you are going to find the smart bracelet itself with these two straps and the user manual the first thing to do is to charge up this guy here okay you have to plug it to an adapter like this so this is a 5 volt 2 ampere adapter make sure it is no more than this or a 5 volt 1 ampere adapter so you plug it this way and you plug it to your power supply and it's going to start charging okay now the next thing to do once you have charged it fully is to now switch it on you are going to press this button here there's a button here if you look closely you are going to see a button there as you can see my hand pressed it and it switched on so that same button is used for operating it as you can see it is showing so the next thing i'm going to show you is how to set it up and pair it with your iphone first thing to do is to go to your iphone and switch on the bluetooth the data and location and i'm going to switch on my bluetooth and i'm going to switch on my wi-fi or data and i'm going to switch on my location which you can see at the privacy and security so the next step is to download fit pro app if you scan this qr code on the user manual it's going to take you to fit pro app so let's scan it and let's see select that as you can see it is showing fit pro app so because we are going for ios so we are going to select ios download When you select that, you are going to see Fit Pro. It's going to take you to Apple App Store and you can now download Fit Pro app. Select the option Get and it's going to download Fit Pro app to your iPhone. And now we have our Fit Pro app downloaded to our iPhone. You have to open it. And once you open it, it's going to show you some prompt. So you have to give permission and grant everything. So here I'm going to select Allow for the location, permission for Fit Pro. So allow while using app. FitPro would like to access your Bluetooth, so select OK. FitPro would like to find and connect your device on your local network, select Allow. And you are going to see Halt. So you can grant permission for it to turn on if you want it to sync it up. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this Halt feature later on in the video. So when you are done, select Allow. And it's going to take you to the FitPro page, which you can see here. Now, what you have to do next is to sign in with your apple id but if you don't want to sign in you can just come up here they are going to say skip or register okay you can skip it if you want to skip the whole process select that and it's going to skip to the home page of fit pro app now you are going to go to this option that shows settings here on the dashboard select settings and you are going to see bind device to experience more features select that option and it's going to start to scan for watches around okay this is our watch here. So in case you want to know if it is your watch, you can go to the settings, go to the more option, select that or press hold, and it's going to select it. So go on, and you're going to see the name and the number of your watch, as you can see here. So let's select that. And you can see it shows pairing request. So we are going to select pair. And if it pairs, we are going to see that. So let's wait for it. As you can see, it has connected. Now, to confirm it is truly connected, all you have to do is to use the find option. As you can see, it is ringing. That shows it is truly connected to the iPhone. Now, here you have to allow this smart bracelet to receive iPhone notifications. Select allow so that you can receive WhatsApp notification and every other notification on your smart bracelet. So if you also want to use it to get WhatsApp notification and messages, all you have to do is to go to this message push option here. Select the message push option and toggle on the WhatsApp notification here. Okay, make sure you toggle it on this way and you are going to see set successfully so whenever you have a whatsapp notification or whatsapp message on your smartphone you are going to get it right on your smart bracelet make sure you turn on all these settings like for sms reminder or wechat 
for QQ Reminder, Facebook, Twitter, Line, Call Reminder, so that you can have calls, and Instagram and every other one like Twitter. Just turn it on and that is it. And also don't forget, in case if you want to turn on this screen of this guy, so when you lift it up like this, it should come on. You can come here, select that, and select Rich Sense, toggle it on. And it's going to start turning on. As you can see, it is now on. Okay? So you can also do some other settings like alarm setting, sedentary reminder, do not disturb, and every other stuff like that. You can also change the wallpaper. If you want to change the wallpaper, it's as easy as one, two, three. You can just go ahead, select your dice setting, and it's going to show you this. Okay? As you can see, this is the default wallpaper so select recommend and you are going to see other wallpapers here that you can pick and sync it up so once you are okay with it you can just come here and select synchronize but if you want to change it to your wallpaper just come here to replace and select your picture in your gallery and you can pick anyone like mine here so select done and you are going to see your picture up here you can also change where you want to place the time and the date okay wherever you want to place it once you are done and satisfied select synchronize and select done and it's going to start syncing it up to your smart bracelet like this and you are good to go you can now use your strap as you can see a smart bracelet has also changed the wallpaper to the one that i want so that is the one that we uploaded a few seconds ago and if you want to change the time settings to 12 hours time format for now it is not possible okay as you can see it is not possible yet so you can try upgrading when the upgrade is out for now it is not possible please stay safe bye for now peace